All right, Summer Day or Summer Fest 2018 with the man himself, Safari. Oh, how does it feel to be here? Yo, uh, this is something I can't get enough of. I could be here every day for a year and I'll never get tired of it. All right, so now we just want to just get down into the, the, the meat of the matter. Um, recently we saw, you know, what happened at the, you know, the performance in, in New York City. Yeah. Um, was it a planting? Was it just something that happened? And how were you able to just quickly um, put a spin on it? Well, you know, we, we, let me tell you how New York is. Um, New York is a very, it's a rough place. Yeah, yeah. And, and you know, sometimes when you come from places, those are like the last people to support you. Mm -hmm. That's kind of like how the setup is out there. And especially when you go and you're dealing with, we perform with a bagger man. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And it's like that basketball thing, mm -hmm. they're, they're, they're the heckle people. Oh, okay, it's, okay. It's, it's a heckle tournament. Mm -hmm. So it don't matter who you are, they, mm -hmm. they're going to they're gonna give it to you. So with stuff like that, they don't really want to see none of that. They, they, they boo the basketball mm -hmm. players. Yeah. They do it to me. But people made a big deal out of it because mm -hmm. it's me. When you put my name in the headline, yeah. it's, it's going to spread and circulate. So. so you have no regrets in terms of how you reacted to the crowd? Is there a different way without you, you think you probably would have reacted? Me that tell them to go suck them mother again if they do it again. <laughs> what do you mean? You better show some blood clot respect. That means a man me give respect, me want respect yeah. back. All right, so I'm a, I'm a fan of the Breakfast Club, and I realize that Charlemagne is pretty much been supporting you, yeah. and him saying believe that you have a hit for 2018. Yeah. Um, do you consider that as pressure, or you feel as if you still have it, you know, for the remaining six months in the year? Oh no, I definitely don't look at it as pressure. I just definitely yeah. look at it like putting good out into the air mm -hmm. of what's really about to happen because it's happening. The world just don't realize it yet, but it's happening. Mm -hmm. How do you, what would you say to some of the people who believe that, you know, um, Safari is just, you know, using him jamaican -ness to be edgy and that he's corny and he's just, um, he's just exaggerated and, and, and overrated. What would you say to those people? I would say that once you put Safari's name in anything, it becomes a headline. So that, there's nothing exaggerated. I built my name up and people use my name for a hype because yeah, yeah. it brings a hype. Like, that basketball court situation, yeah, yeah. if it wasn't me, none of y'all would be talking about it. Mm -hmm. Nobody would know mm -hmm. about it. Mm -hmm. But they might talk about it because I'm me. Yeah. You know I should talk to us about like love and hip hop. Well, um, I saw a video, I think it was Instagram with some fight. Um, we, you know, pulling up to the car. Like, what was that? What was going on there? Oh, that's the new season for love and hip hop Hollywood, you know? Mm -hmm. People, they just gotta um, tune in and just watch it. Yeah. Okay. So, before me leave, I want, you for, I want you for just say, like, what would you say are some of your, your, your top three slangs that people know and recognize you for? What would those um, things be? Um, one of them are street. We can't really do it, but yeah. That's one. My number one is street. Yeah. The next one is go suck your mother. Number three, I would have to say is... Um, Come on, man. You know, you know you have them. You have them. I have a lot, though. That's why. Mm. My third one, um... Come on, man, you have one time? Oh! Easy. Okay. Easy, Boaz. All right. <laughs> All right, so the last question is a pop question. Just like a pop it. Name one thing your ex was good at. Name one thing your ex was good at. Um... Damn, that's a good question. Let me see. Come on, man, Safari. Picking me. What? Oh, wow. Wow. And there you have it, people. <laughs>